Howie the Butcher here. This recipe is inspired by one of my favorite holidays, 4th of July. I love it. No expectations. <laughs> Barbecue, maybe a cold brew. It's just fantastic. So anyway, it's a pretty simple recipe. A pound of 85% ground beef. Two small, finely diced, cleaned and finely diced jalapeno peppers. Half a cup of cheddar cheese. Okay, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Again, if you want to really kick it up, put cayenne instead of black pepper in it. And a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm trying to watch my salt. You may want a little more than that, but that's enough to give it some nice seasoning. So I'm going to blend that all together in a mixing bowl. I'm going to get that all mixed up nice and solid. And then I'm going to form it into four patties and then I'm going to grill it, of course. Then we're going to take it one step further and put uh, pepper jack cheese on it also. Just really going to make it, give it that firecracker burger, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, you'll know you ate something when you're done. So we'll get it mixed up, patted out, and we'll go from there. All right. All right. We're back for part two of the firecracker burger. Now here is after they're all blended with the jalapenos and the cheddar cheese, salt and pepper, and they're looking really good. So now I'm going to have my grill at 350 to 400, and I'm going to start off by going seven minutes aside. So we're going to do that, and then we'll be back. All right, our seven minutes are up. It's time to flip it over. Let's see what we look like here. Yeah, it's looking pretty darn good, indeed. Now remember, you always want to make sure ground beef is always fully cooked, which is 165 degrees. Now if you're not sure, thermometer doesn't work with bath time burgers. If you're not sure, you can always cut it. And if it's pink in the middle, it's not done yet. So we'll go another seven minutes. Then we're going to flip and melt some cheese on it. And I'm also going to grill my buns. It takes about the same amount of time as the cheese to melt. So we'll be good to go. All right, our other second seven minutes are gone, so we've got total 14 minutes on. Again, we're showing about 400 degrees, and look at those. She's starting to melt the bubble a little bit. So now, what I'm gonna do is toast the bun. I simply sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil, and the amount of time it takes for the cheese to melt is about what it takes for the buns to get grilled. So I'm gonna double this cheese up a little bit so it don't run all over the grill and stays on the burger. Just kind of fold it a little bit. Just like so. And like so. Alright, we're going to give it another three minutes and we should be done. Again, if you're not sure if it's done, just cut it. If it's pink, then you know it's not fully cooked. So, Okay, so we got our three minutes. Oh, look at that. Is that party or what? Well, let's check our bun. Oh yeah, it's a nice little grill stripe. Gives it a little toasty texture, which I love. And we'll take them off. So there you have it. Simple recipe. Uh, doesn't cost an arm and a leg. A little something different you can impress your guests with. And make one heck of a hot 4th of July. Only one thing left to do. We'll be back. There's only one final step yet my favorite part. First of all, I'm going to put a famous restaurant hot barbecue sauce on it. And this but won't be hot enough. So that will be the final <laughs> the final touch. So there we are. I'm just going to have some chips, a little watermelon, and of course, just in case it's too hot for you, you might keep a, something cold standing by. Till next time, how in the butcher. If you don't know meat, know your meat man.